We're in Reich's second floor auditorium for the event that we've all been waiting for, the Women's Guild of the Dayton Opera Association's lovely annual spring fashion show. And here's the chairman of the fashion show, Mrs. William or Dottie McMake. And Dottie, how's the uh, fashion show going this morning? Oh, very well, very well. We're quite pleased. This is a 10.30 session. You have another one this afternoon at 1.30. 1.30, yes. And the fashion show is called what this year? Fashion Score 1970. Fashion Score 1970. And of course, the first lady of American fashion design herself is here. And she Simpson. is so charming. Isn't she delightful? Just wonderful. Yes. She has on a beautiful orange suit this morning. And her fabrics are always so pretty, Gorgeous. I think, don't you? We were all quite excited to see just what she would be wearing. Um, uh, Sarah Warman. The buyer for the uh, Moraine Room was telling me that her collection will be on display Wednesday and up through Thursday noon, I believe it is. So uh, lots of good luck this afternoon. I'm very anxious to see the fashions this morning. I had an interview with Adele Simpson, and she was giving me some of the, the fashion tips. We also have the president of the Women's Guild of the Dayton Opera Association, Mrs. Scott T. Bowers. Hello, Betty. Joan Bowers, nice to see you this nice morning. Nice to see you. Joan, uh, how are things coming for the last opera? Very well. As you know, we've had a change, and uh, we're bringing Roberta Peters in as scheduled, but we have a plus in that Barry Morell's coming back. And if you heard him in uh, in the last opera, why, uh, in La Gioconda, you'll, you'll come back to hear him again. I missed him, Going to, Joan, Oh, did you? Well, I'm I heard sorry. He was just he's fantastic. super. Of course, he's, uh, he's a regular at the Met. He makes his home in Rome, but he's mm-hmm. going to stay in the States specifically to come and sing in Lucia with Roberta Peters. People who know a lot more about this than I tell me that uh, you haven't heard Lucia until you've heard Roberta Peters sing it. And uh, let's see, we're bringing uh, Barry Morell and Russell Christopher, who is also a regular at the Met, and um, Dmitry Nabokov, who is the son of the uh, Russian novelist Vladimir Nabokov. We had someone call the station the other day, Joan, yes. and wanted to know where they could get tickets for us. Uh, Yes, uh, we're listed in the phone book under Dayton Opera Association, and all you need to do is call the Dayton Opera Association. It's 228-0662. You don't remember it, just look it up and call, and uh, and I'd uh, recommend calling very soon because this is going to be a sellout. This is really going to be a smashing event. I'm sure it will The be. date again, Joan, is April the 18th April at the Memorial 18th. Hall, 815. So circle that on your calendar. And Dottie McMakin, you look lovely today. Thank you for your beautiful fashion show. And I know you've worked hard. Dottie's been kind of ill, and uh, but you look I'm beautiful. Feeling fine. You're feeling fine, feeling and I know fine. you've worked awfully hard. You've had some good help, though, haven't you? Marvelous help. We've all worked hard. Well, the, has worked hard. We've all put a lot of time and effort in it. Well, the women of the Dayton, the Women's Guild of the Dayton Opera Association, I think are the nicest group of women. They work so hard together. We'll agree and, with you No, you that, really do. You are, <laughs> we, you are, do. we do have an unusually fine group of you women. You do, Joan. Agree with that. You're, uh, you're a good president and you're a good chairman. <laughs> we all work well together. You work well together. So well, look what we have to work for. When you bring opera in, such as our director, Lester Friedman, brings in, you feel that you're, you're working for a worthy goal. And when you have right. something like this and sit in that auditorium and, uh, and hear people like Roberta Peters and Eleanor Ross uh, sing, then you think, well, all the work you've done is worth it. It's a marvelous opportunity for all of us in this area, Joan. So Indeed once again, circle your calendar April the 18th. Thank you, Joan Bowers and Dottie McMakin.